Hello everyone and welcome to the Three Whisketeers. I'm your guest host today, Melissa. We have our happy Honduran Eddie over here. Yeah. We have another guest, Curtis, and our angel haired hippie, Curtis, <laughs> over here. So we've got two Curtises today. That's just two. Not, we're not seeing double yet. Just two. Two Curtises today double for your trouble. pleasure. <laughs> double <the> trouble. <laughs> Um, and today we are going to try something new. Um, our guest Curtis brought that today. Uh, would you like to share with us what you brought? Sure. Uh, I brought this uh, Chinese rice whiskey here from a friend of mine who uh, was a frequent visitor of China. He brought this over uh, back over for me to uh, sample and enjoy. And I figured that's something you guys might want to try here today on the show. That's awesome. W what do we call this? Uh, it's called... Uh, Baijiu is what they call it. Baijiu! 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 It's a, a pretty basic uh, whiskey. It's uh, sorghum in it, uh, corn, Ooh, rice, yeah. and it's got a potent smell to it. Uh, so, oh my gosh, you know, I opened that up and I immediately smelled like cotton candy. Yeah. Oh man, it's, it's a very, <laughs> very yeah. This is gonna be something. It's yeah. very so aromatic. It's supposed to be more rice than anything else, yes, right? Yes. Okay. It's a rice, Holy corn, and sorghum. Man, really. it's, uh, okay, so I, I smell like a little licorice already. Mm -hmm. uh, cotton candy licorice. I don't know how to describe that. I've been did they tell to you? Search myself. Okay, did they tell you anything else about it? I mean, he I you... really didn't. I couldn't. We've been trying to figure out uh, to translate a lot of the writing on the bottle. Okay. Uh, could not really figure out a lot about it. Uh, he said when he went over there, he picked one out of a, a liquor store over there and just kind of brought it over. He oh didn't have much. And it's a heart, actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that you guys are able to see that. And it's gold. It's got a gold emblem. Uh, it's got a cute little top. Uh, it's got a little... Yeah, they're packaging. They oh, go... They're packaging. It's like, this is a dragon right here. I'm getting scared already <laughs> to try this. Well, and if any viewers have any knowledge of this whiskey, please feel free to uh, post on the video. Yeah, please comment. Let us know what you think, or if you ever heard of this, or if you know anything about this distillery at all. So we're just kind of yeah. we're just kind of trying something out here. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. So first, let's just see what the nose tells us. Holy crap! I'm getting like uh, bubble gum, <laughs> passion fruit, uh, star fruit, maybe pomegranate. Ooh, yeah. star fruit. Wouldn't have thought of that, but yeah. What I thought it was uh, black licorice. Yeah. There's a little. There's. I think I smell the rice in there. Mm -hmm. uh, like you know when you uh, when rice sits and it kind of goes bad, mm -hmm. which may maybe our audience has not really experienced that. I have because I grew up eating rice, <laughs> and it has a little little pungent smell in there, mm -hmm. which is normal. Um, it smells it's like very it. strong. It smells yeah. like fermented rice wood. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I don't think it's bad. No. It's something you But feel. I think it's super strong. Yeah. <laughs> Everything about it punches your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's like you take like a hundred bubble gums and you just like take a bite down and you're like, ah! <laughs> and then you taste the rice. Like every note that's to the nose, you taste it in your tongue, which uh, I never really actually had that. And the color here is clear. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not sure why, how this is called whiskey. Mm -hmm. But should we all give it a go? Yeah, what give it a go. Taste right. it. Do you happen to know what the ABV is? Uh, I do not know what it is, Ooh. but I think they said it's uh, the averages for the Baijo is about 80 proof, is what they're. Yeah, because it's coming out of my nose. Yeah. And it's like. Psh. It's something you feel all the way yeah, down. So, like, if you like ever had Everclear, this is something that's. Um, hmm. I don't think it's as strong as Everclear, but it definitely burns slightly to the nose. Uh, now I see why they got the dragon on yeah. here, you're ready to blow like this. <laughs> yeah, see, I get the burn right directly. As yeah. soon as it touches the back of my throat, the burn's there. It calms down a little bit for yeah. me as it goes down, but it's very warm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very warm. Yeah. And you know what? It's got, like, the menthol effect, yeah. kind of. Yeah. So it's not like, like um, ooh. it doesn't, like, bother me, but it's definitely strong, but it's like, ooh, this is increasing. So it's almost like... 
I don't want to say medicinal, but you definitely feel like you're drinking something that's doing something to your body. Yeah, and my friend said that they drink this stuff over here. This is their go-to. He said this is whenever, their go-to? whenever he'd go out with clients and customers, they would drink this stuff by a bottle. So he said it's an acquired taste for over there, for that's for sure. That's well, you know what? I wouldn't say it's an acquired taste, but this is you definitely have... You definitely have to get used to it a little bit. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know if maybe over ice it would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it. Um, this is not something that I, w I don't know if I would consider a whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's definitely more like a liqueur. Mm -hmm. um, or like a light liqueur with lots of alcohol. I like it though. I mean, it's got a lot of <laughs> got a lot of fun flavors in there. And because you liked the packaging, Eddie, there was something Curtis was able to find out about the red bottle in particular. Yeah, there. I was noticed online they were saying a lot of these red bottles that come in cases like this is more of like a wedding gift type thing. Oh. So I think that's a lot with the heart and stuff on the bottle that they oh, I have see. these more packaged for like a wedding gift type thing. That makes sense. That so. makes sense. Um, I should have maybe looked at what what does the word what does the color red or gold mean in the Chinese culture to see if maybe that symbolizes anything else. But obviously, a heart is I, red. Uh, I'm pretty sure gold represents earth. Right. I think mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. I just took a I'm taking a class on this. I think gold represents earth. Uh, red I think represents south, but I can't remember what else. Oh, fire. Fire. That's pretty clear. Okay, so that's pretty cool because there's a there's a big dragon right here, and it's the um, it's more like the serpent dragon, uh, and then there's like a bird, so it's more like the phoenix type. Um, really cool. Holy and crap. I've I've got some friends with uh, acquaintances in Shanghai, so I have put out pictures of the bottle. Um, and the writings on it. So hopefully we can gain some more information and as we get that information We'll certainly put it in the comments of the show. Yeah, but this is definitely very interesting And yeah. I'm glad you guys brought this in because I really like it. Uh, we've had actually uh, whiskeys from obviously huh. England and uh, you know uh, all over the uh, what do you call it the United Kingdom <laughs> and we had some from India uh, and then we have bourbon from the United States and now we have something from China, which mm -hmm. is this is what we want yeah. We want stuff like this. We want to try different things, you know that's So I was happy to bring it over yeah. and let you guys sample it and try it. That's awesome it's Where ridiculous. we share our whiskey and have fun. Yeah. Curtis, what do you Wait, think no. about this? Yeah. I'm not gonna say <laughs> Why? Well, if you're not gonna say something nice, don't say anything. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, okay. Well, do you would you describe the nose to the taste to be parallel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. It, it, it's not to my taste at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, it was fun trying it, but it's just not nothing that I particularly partial to. <laughs> Is it going in the infinity bottle? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no. no! Definitely not. Not going to ruin perfectly that's, good that's, that's, That would be a very, very pungent drink. <laughs> that, yeah. That's their way of very saying pungent. thank you for trying, but yes. not so much, but. <laughs> We're definitely going to eat some crackers after this. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. we're going to have to clear our palate in order to do the next one. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, Curtis? Thank you for bringing this up. You this know, is fantastic. Try, yeah. I'm glad I actually tried that. This is a, there's a lot of depth to other people's cultures. Yeah. Um, and we do talk about other cultures. And as always, like, subscribe, and share the show with all your friends so they can learn more about all of the fun things we're doing here, too. All right. Britannia, why don't you take us out? <laughs> all for one and one, one for, for all. all yeah <laughs>